Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is happy and healthy and has a chance to get out there and enjoy maybe some good uh, weather, hopefully. So this is going to be a quick video, but I'm very excited about what we're going to talk about because we're going to talk about a new innovative patch that measures blood glucose continuously and completely non-invasively. Uh, and that's... Uh, that's very exciting, I think. Now, we have previously talked about some non-invasive patches uh, that pulled the interstitial fluid through the skin onto the skin surface in a patch. But this wearable patch is actually very different, which is what makes it so exciting, because it actually measures glucose in sweat, which I think we all appreciate is sort of naturally occurring on the skin surface and therefore it doesn't need to pull through anything or stick any needles or anything into the skin to get underneath it. Now to do this it obviously needs to overcome some challenges. The first one is that there is actually very little glucose in sweat, very low concentration. So the device obviously must be very sensitive. Second, Everybody's sweat is different. Uh, we sweat different amounts of liquid. Our sweat has different levels of salt, sodium, which uh, may impact the interpretation of the glucose measurement. And thirdly, uh, differences in temperature and temperature changes, whether it's skin temperature or ambient temperature, can also have an impact on the glucose measurement, or at least the interpretation of it. And so to address these challenges, this specific patch has been designed with a pH sensor and a temperature sensor in addition to the glucose biomarker sensor. Now, this allows for the creation of an algorithm, of course, that takes into account both pH and temperature when interpreting the glucose values and therefore presumably improves the accuracy of the glucose measurements, right? And so for that reason, this patch is comprised of an electrochemical dual pH and glucose sensor and a temperature sensor. Uh, and also a stretchable microfluidic network for sweat sampling. And so a way of catching the sweat and feeding it to the, to the uh, biomarker sensors for pH and uh, glucose. The manufacturing process is described in the article and it's uh, pretty complicated. I will attach a link in the description for those of you who are interested in and want to pursue it. But uh, for the purposes of the, this video, we're going to leave it at that. Now, the way this works is that when sweat glucose comes into contact with the electrode in the biomarker sensor, it is oxidized, which generates an electric current. And the strength of the current is proportional to the glucose concentration, and uh, it gets measured that way. And so... That's actually very cool and, and, you know, from an electrochemical perspective, once you can make it happen, uh, very straightforward. Now, as best I can tell, this is a proof of concept. It's not a commercial device yet. Now, I do hope they take it forward and continue to refine it and continue to test it and hopefully uh, bring it to uh, to the market ultimately, right? And those of you who invest in these things, um, you may want to take a look at it because it could actually be a very interesting investment, right? It is great, obviously, to see the level of ingenuity and effort that is being invested in developing non-invasive continuous glucose monitoring devices such as this. There is obviously, as we know, a great need for them and, uh, you know, perplexing and frustrating that we don't have them yet, but I'm very encouraged by the progress that's being made here. So uh, kudos to the people at Penn State that have been uh, working on this. 
And with that, I hope you found this video useful, in which case, please give me a heads up, a thumbs up. Uh, and if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss future episodes. And with that, hope you well, take good care, and we'll talk to you soon. Be well. Bye-bye.